Please like and share our video and help us fill in the survey after watching the video. We will link it down below in the description box. To start with, do you know what is industrial water pollution? Industrial water pollution is the emission of industrial waste, which could be unwanted toxic chemicals as well as untreated byproducts from manufacturing into water bodies affecting living organisms and the whole environment. In fact, 70% of industrial waste in developing countries contribute to the contamination of existing water supplies. Industrial water pollution becomes a threat, a serious issue towards the world as it brings an uncountable amount of negative impacts. First of all, industrial water pollution has a significant effect on health and diseases. Most of China's water comes from contaminated rivers. Nearly 7 million Chinese are drinking them. Contaminated water has caused so much cancer, such as liver cancer and gallbladder cancer. The people living along them are said to be living in cancer villages. Some people nearby are affected with common diseases, such as cholera, typhoid, and dysentery through insect bites and when one baths in polluted water. In fact, within a three-month period in Shanghai, there were 1,547 cases of cholera, leading to 468 deaths. Similarly, around 1 billion U.S. citizens got ill or get infected with diseases, such as the Lingonier's disease, due to contaminated water every year. The Ligurnius disease is a severe form of pneumonia contracted from water sources like cooling towers and piped water. It is known as the main disease for U.S. citizens every year. Moreover, industrial water pollution has a huge negative environmental impact, mainly affecting marine life. In 1970, the outbreaks of mercury and cadmium waste poison aquatic animals and plants in Japan. The pollution harms marine life, decreasing the number of them. So the Japanese around the polluted water bodies, such as Minamata, have less fish and aquatic source of food they usually eat as a culture and habit. The industrial water pollution in the Ganges River causes dolphins' populations of a drastic decrease from 5,000 to 2,000, as they inhaled toxic petroleum vapors when breathing on the river surface, so they became endangered. Moreover, the fertilizer from agriculture industry washed into rivers leads to the growth of algae, causing fish being deprived of oxygen and contributing to their deaths. Additionally, industrial water pollution directly affects the economy of countries. Firstly, India's tourism is facing a crisis as the pollution of the Ganges River, which is a well-known tourist attraction, increases. Bookings for vacation in India decreased by 10% in 2019. This heavily influences the revenues of some industries, such as visitor accommodation, as well as the foreign exchange earnings. Secondly, investment in companies also hindered by the industrial water pollution due to the concern of cleaning up past contamination, the sustainability of enforcement and environmental standards, foreign firms avoided and lowered the investment around the deeply polluted Moscow River in Russia. Lastly, the fishing industry and some particular food industry in Japan experienced difficulty in generating revenue since the death rate of the fish increased drastically, hindering the economic growth. There are several causes that increase the seriousness of industrial water pollution. First and foremost, there is a lack of effective government control policies and measures on industrial water pollution. Most of the pollution laws are very flexible or unstrict, which in turn causes firms and industries to take full advantage, only aiming at gaining profit, ignoring social responsibility to the environment and public. Furthermore, industrial growth is unplanned and there is a sheer number of manufacturing industries. As a result of economic growth and excessive consumer consumption, there is an increasing number of factories which avoid environmental regulations, build and expand around water bodies, releasing a significant amount of pollutants. Last but not least, a lot of factories are using outdated manufacturing technology, which is not environmentally friendly in production. New advanced technologies are too expensive for most factories, so they continue relying on outdated technology that produces harmful effects. A lot of countries came up with different solutions to solve the industrial water pollution crisis.
Some governments imposed heavy penalty in respect of the violation of water pollution control measure. The Chinese government had made a water pollution prevention and control action plan in 2017. This plan is aiming to enforce stricter standards and increase water monitoring effects to strengthen the enforcement of environmental laws and punish polluters, especially target heavily polluting industries. Party and government leaders will be responsible for addressing water pollution, including resource protection. Water line management and pollution prevention. Officials who achieve their goals will be rewarded, while those who fail in their responsibilities or enterprises without monitoring equipment will be punished with fines and lost promotion opportunities. Shutdown and criminal punishment are also introduced as a severe violation. Fines can reach to RMB two hundred thousand. Japan also has a similar solution. Penalties are made by the government to enforce the industries from overpolluting or further damaging the environment. For example, in 1970, the government enforced the water pollution control law to prevent further water pollution in public areas and to protect human health. Later in 1997, they consolidated the water pollution control law and also established the environment quality standards. It regulates heavy metals, vaporous organic carbons, and other dangerous substances in groundwater to make sure the public water is above the standards in order to protect human health and conserve the living environment. On the other hand, governments of several countries created a river cleanup campaign. In Russia, the government and Moscow Donkano and two projects developed the program, the Clean Water of Moscow. The program improved the water quality problems by building five water treatment plants in the Moscow River and the Volga River. The total water treatment capacity of the plants are 6.7 million meter cube per day. And furthermore, the program deals with up-to-date technologies in the water sector and sustainability and reconstruction of the water supply systems. Similarly, the Indian government constituted the National Ganga River Basin Authority. They were being funded with one billion dollars for cleaning the Ganga River. This adopted approach contains four different sectors, which are wastewater management, solid waste management. Industrial pollution and the riverfront development. In the process of cleaning, water quality was constantly inspected. Also, the U.S. has a treatment called municipal wastewater treatment for cleaning up water bodies. At municipal wastewater treatment plants in the United States, raw municipal wastewater undergoes preliminary, primary, secondary, and in some cases, additional treatment to yield treated. Influent and a concentrated stream of solids and liquid called sludge. The sludge is treated as required for utilization or disposal. An additional treatment of influent may be needed to accommodate specific water reuse opportunities. We came up with some solutions too. They will be effective in solving the industrial water pollution crisis in multiple regions. Governments can relocate factories, which are located near the water bodies, and control industrial expansion. By doing this and constantly inspecting, the amount and area of pollution can be controlled. Therefore, the industrial water pollution can be reduced. Governments can provide factories with machines that can purify the waste into non-toxic pollutant materials. So less toxic pollutant materials will be released, and therefore reduces the industrial water pollution. Save the earth! It is time to take action. Thanks for watching. Please like and share this video, and remember to fill in the survey link down below in the description box.